good morning from cold, dark Iceland. It's 9 a.m., still pitch black. The sun doesn't come up till about 11.30 a.m. <laughs> we landed last night at about midnight. We're gonna go to the Blue Lagoon. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's just crisper. I can't really imagine living in a place that is so dark all the time in the winter. The sun comes up at 11.30 a.m. right now. It is mid-December, so we're close to the shortest day of the year, and it goes back down at about 3.30 p.m. That's kind of crazy, but also cozy in a way. Lots of cuddle time here in Iceland. We're hoping to find some food, and we figured there'd be some places open. It is nine in the morning, but a lot of these places are, are not open. <laughs> We found a grocery store, and it's open 24 hours, yes! This is the stuff they were advertising on the airplane. Iceland's secret to healthy living. This Icelandic grocery store pretty much has everything that you would see in a normal grocery store. But the crazy thing is, they really have to ship this stuff from far, far away. Iceland is in the middle of nowhere. And that's why it's very expensive. I'm a fan of the Icelandic yogurt. It's very thick and creamy. Delicious. You're probably wondering why we're hitchhiking. Well, the one bus that was leaving from our hotel to the Blue Lagoon left at like 8.30 a.m. We were not on that bus and there's no other buses from that hotel. So that's why we're doing this. Not because we're super cheap. No, just kidding. That also has that's playing a factor in this because the buses to the Blue Lagoon are like $50. Also, we wanted to have this romantic sunrise walk. Yeah, that's a good point. This is an adventure. These are the best days where you wake up and you're like, we're just gonna figure this out. We're gonna see what happens. We're hoping it's gonna be good. And it usually always is good, right? As long as you keep a good attitude. That's right. <laughs> If you ever want to hitchhike successfully, always put the cute girl out in front. They have a lot higher success rate. It's like ordering a drink at a crowded bar. Put the lady in front. A few moments later. All right, we have somebody who stopped. Um, we're going to 43. We're trying to get in the Blue Lagoon. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Have fun. Yeah, great to meet you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Yep, we got it all. Bye-bye. All right, that was awesome. Our new friend, Osk. All right, 10 kilometers to the Blue Lagoon. We could run this. Oh, what? You want to give us a ride? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. We didn't even have to ask. People here are so nice. Niceland, get it? Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Great. <laughs> All right, we made it. Bye. <laughs> wow, what a sweet young girl. 16 years old. She got her grandpa to stop and pick us up. So we booked our tickets to the Blue Lagoon in advance because they say to do that, it's so popular. I'm not usually a fan of tourist traps. This is definitely one of them. Everybody pretty much goes from the airport to here on their layovers and back to the airport. And they spend $80 each. $80 are the cheap tickets. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> oh, it's dreamy in here. This is pretty otherworldly out here. I'm a fan. Oh, it feels so good. It's the perfect temperature. It's cold outside, warm inside. Ah. This water is really salty because it comes from the ocean. And I just read a sign over there that says that this water 
is pumped up from 2,000 meters below the ground. Geothermal seawater. That's pretty neat. Mother Nature, you're a badass. Go get some water, Allie. The water in Iceland really does taste delicious. I have no idea what silica is supposed to do for your face, but hopefully it's something good. Yeah, well, this is smooth. Feels like feels like clay, like play-doh. I think they said to leave it on for 10 minutes and then you look 10 years younger. I'm not one to go to spas and do fancy face stuff, but I kind of like this. Teamwork. <laughs> silica high five. Oh, yeah. Look, I got some silica on my nipple. It's gonna make my nipple look 10 years younger. <laughs> Can't wait. I think my mask is done. I feel younger. I feel warmer for sure. It's really windy out here. Iceland is known for its wind, and it's definitely windy. <sighs> but there's a sauna and a steam room and all sorts of other fun places to go hide when you get cold. Our $80 entry does include a free drink, and I got a banana smoothie. Allie got Prosecco. Cheers, Allie. Mm. Oh. Kiss and drink. Mm. You know, Ali, I've always been told that you shouldn't really drink alcohol in a hot tub. I guess I don't abide by that in Iceland. <laughs> Everyone in here is drinking alcohol. <laughs> I hate to say it, Ali, but it is time to go back to the airport. That was it for the Blue Lagoon, which was amazing. Loved it. I think you did too. Yeah, that place was super rad. It's definitely just visually stunning and gives you like nice eye massage while your body is just relaxing into those. I, my voice even sounds like a little calmer, right? Yeah, very calm. Like I'm like relaxed down to the bone right now. Yeah, which, which is great because we're going straight to the airport and we're going to get on a long flight home back to Denver. Never before have I sat in a hot spring for five hours before a flight. This is going to be great. <laughs>